There's gotta be a natural wonder around here somewhere, right? There has to be one. Oh, come on, I didn't protect my builder. I'm so naive. steps you have come far now begins your greatest quest from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars wise teoraman seventh to hold the name the Khmer admire your dedication to their well-being your command of the land's fresh waters lets you feed your hungry people just as it brings you ever closer to heaven Go forth, divine architect. Build an empire that approaches perfection, and may your enemies find their end beneath your mighty war elephants. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're about to start playing some Civ 6. Are we going to be the Kmar Empire? No, nothing about them. Haven't got a clue who they are. Um, and Terraraman, the seventh. Um, never heard of him either. I'm very badly educated. I apologize. Um, so, truth be told, I've played Civilization for a long, long time. Never played it on the channel because I've never been very good at it. If, if you've watched the channel, you know my attention to detail is sometimes a little lacking. I will admit that. Um, and that's one of the reasons I haven't put Civ on the channel, just simply because it's one of those games where the detail is everything. And I don't pay attention to the detail. Um, I kind of do things that I like the idea of rather than I think is beneficial to my civilization. Um, however, in lockdown, I've been playing quite a lot of it, but I've been playing it multiplayer and I've been losing. And I thought maybe I've been looking at this the wrong way. Rather than get the abuse in the comments of how inept I am, maybe I should be looking for the comments for help. So if you're a Civ player and you're watching this, first off, I apologize. Second off, I thought maybe I could learn from you. How does that sound? Um, I'm not too too uh, much of a, a, a big man to admit, but I need help. Um, so let's have a little look at what we've got. Um, the Kamer Empire. I know nothing about them. Alexa, tell me about the Kamer Empire. Sorry, I don't know that. How do you know nothing about them either? Alexa, who is the Kamer Empire? Hmm, I don't know that Rubbish. one. Rubbish, who are you? Um, so let's have a little look. Uh, Monasteries of the King. Um, holy sites provide a plus two food and one housing if placed on a river. Housing I've never really understood. I don't know if you haven't got enough housing, what it stops. I presume growth. I'm not really, really too too up to it. And amenities. Um, again, they never. I seem to have this come up every single turn. Doesn't tend to worry me too much. I mean, that's probably why I lose. Um, <laughs> what else have we got? Plus three faith and one amenity. Uh, in, from entertainment to each city with an aqueduct. Um, farms provide plus two food and adjacent uh, to an aqueduct. Okay. Um, and then we've got a unique land unit and uh, a unique building. I'm guessing I thought these would highlight and tell me what they do, but uh, let's just get started. This river has floodplains, which means it has flooded before and might burst its banks again. A flood along this river could happen at any point in the future. This presents us with risks, but potentially benefits too. Thanks, love. So we're playing on uh, on the standard size map, standard game, uh, on King difficulty, uh, with however many the standard players are. Um, starting locations. What I do know about starting locations is hills. Hills help. I think hills are hills are your friend. Uh, we don't look too bad in terms of having bits and pieces around here. Um, I think this seems like a, a reasonable place just to begin, right? I, I don't see the point in moving. Uh, we've got some reasonable resources in and around. There's a lot of hills around here as well. It'd be nice to, to encompass some of these into it. But early on, I think this is fine. Civilization has accomplished something historic, worthy of being celebrated and remembered for generations to come. These accomplishments help our civilization reach a golden age and avoid a dark age. 
Thanks, love. Um, so what that's telling us, and I know this bit, is from each achievement that we make, essentially, it's kind of a, a progression in, in research or a unique event happening, uh, we gain one uh, era score. And depending on the levels of era score that you have, you either get a, a gold age, a dark age, or a somewhere in the middle age. Um, that's pretty much as much as I know on that. Let's uh, let's say thank you. So we get this little bit of news. The Kamer Empire uh, and Angkor, Angkor Fort Thom. Is that how you say it? I guess so. I'm going to do this a lot. I apologize. Um, okay. New continent has been discovered. I'm guessing that's the one we're on. Uh, and uh, we're near a floodable river. We've got a warrior. I guess it makes sense for us to send this warrior down here, maybe. And we'll just kind of do a loop around. That seems to make sense. Uh, research. What do we want? So um, animal husbandry would allow us to, to start working this once we get there. Um, pottery would allow us to build farms, which might not be the worst option. Which should help growth. Um, we haven't got any any fish around here, so it's mining or pottery, I guess. I think we're going to go uh, or animal husbandry. I think we're going to go. Let's go pottery, so we can uh, so we can boost our our development quicker in terms of get more population. Um, do we want a monument? Provides one loyalty. No, probably not. I think we're going to go scout early on. Okay. Okay, good. We're making good progress, everybody. That sounds like a little goody hut to me. We'll, we'll bundle over here and grab that. Um, so a little tribal village. Hopefully they're going to help us. Uh, we need to be on the lookout for barbarians. Let's, let's lever him in the face. Um, so it'd be nice to kill this dude, but I get the feeling we're not going to do that. Um, because I suspect he's going to run off this way. And then he's going to try and run back to his clan. There we go. Um... Let's go and get this goody hut. I think we've got barbarians coming our way, everybody. Um, let's move this way. We've got a builder. Um, so obviously our little tribal uh, tribal villagers gave us a builder, which is nice. We can't really do anything with him, I don't think. Uh, build a farm. Can we head over here and build a farm? We can. Let's, let's get that up and running. That will help us early on. Okay. So we can be... Pretty sure that we've got barbarians around this way. And we can be fairly sure I'm not going to be able to stop. There's the barbarian camp. Okay. Um, I guess another farm over here makes sense. Maybe we can stop this scout from telling these barbarians. That might be, that might be useful. Um, okay. Oh god, there was another scout. Did you see that? I think there's either that returned round to face us, I'm not sure. That was the same scout. Okay, you. Let's uh, let's make another farm. Beautiful. Okay, so we should be getting let's just have a look at our uh, our civilians and what they're doing. They're working this tile over here. I wonder if we're better off getting them to work one of these tiles, although the growth appears to be the same, I think. Two turns until growth two turns until growth so maybe we do continue working this for now and they give us gold and a few other bits and pieces right that scout is still running off i don't want to stray too far from our city but at the same time i want to try and keep an eye on this um on this dude right we're working on the um We're working on pottery. I thought that was meant... I thought pottery meant that this allows you to build farms, but allows harvesting of bonus resources. Well, that will be the the wheat, I would guess. This is irrigation, so I'm not sure it's pottery that we needed. We probably should switch over to mines, but four turns to go. Do we... I think we just... Oh, crap. I think we just keep going, right? So one of the other things on here is each one of these has... Um, bonuses so like if we uh, if we found a city on the coast we'll get uh, we'll get a eureka moment which will fill up sort of a third of this circle up here if we find a natural wonder does the same thing that gives you era score as well um do i keep do i keep getting you to to do these farms i guess i do for now we buy a builder when we get to that point right that's how we that's how we work it we can't get you to move because we've already done it okay 
I'm assuming I am working on this. Did I... Did I not... Did I just miss a turn because I didn't select anything? I think I may have done. I'm not sure. Right, okay. Let's get the builder doing this one as well. We built three farms. I think there's a bonus for putting farms next to each other as well. Um, but let's... Uh, let's see if we find anything else over here. Okay, Scout is coming back. Good news is he runs straight into it. units like Scouts are unique in that they can gain experience by explo- Thanks, love. Okay. How did that happen? Right, let's, um... This volcano is quiet now, but it could erupt again at- Okay, we know there's volcanoes around. So another settler sounds like a good idea. We haven't really scouted a lot of this. And we know we've got people down here. So do we go Settler or do we go Slinger? I guess we go Slinger to try and deal with this. Um, how much do things cost around here? If we wanted to buy a Settler, it's 320. It's a lot to begin with. Okay, let's hope he doesn't run too far away. God damn you, he's running over the river. That's not good. Oh, come on. So we've got a, a damage to our farm instantly um, which is uh, a drought thanks for that appreciate it god damn it right you I guess we send you this way our city state neighbors have made a request of us if we can impress them I think they will reward us handsomely okay so we've met a city state city states are kind of individual town cities in the on, on the world I know that much I know they don't do a huge amount um, but uh, they're really useful for, for sending envoys to them and uh, and earning rewards for being the first people that meet them and various other things. So uh, as you can see, we've met a city-state and you've earned one, what earned one envoy there, which is good. Uh, and that means that we get two science in our capital. Science will help us uh, research things faster. Um, do we go this way or this way? I'm not sure. Let's head, let's head this way. You. Can we chase this dude down? I don't know. Hopefully this doesn't go anywhere. No, I didn't. I do that a lot as well. Okay. They've asked us to do the bronze working. Um, and the drought is obviously going on, which is not good news. As you can see we're, our city has expanded as well. We've had some growth, no which is good. No man ever wetted clay and then left it. As if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Thanks, Sean Bean. So Sean Bean is, is going to be the... The man who tells us what's what's going on. I don't think we're going to stop this, dude. Okay, let's choose research. I think it makes sense for us to do mining, right? Uh, because we've got some hills. It feels like that's the right thing to do. And then we can come down here once we've got irrigation and, and do that. Uh, you. Can I send you this way? And then this way? This, this feels pretty good for a... Uh, it feels pretty good for another city up here with some it's close to the to the city state but up here with some uh, some mountains i know they're good for campuses um and some some uh, quarries we've lost that little dude where did he go he's running that way okay maybe we can pin him over there i think we still need to be worried about the, the barbarians down here but this looks like the coast heading up this way um and probably is the edge of the map down. Well, it definitely is the edge of the map down here. So that's relatively good news, I think. Okay, what have we got going on? Five turns to a slinger. I think we, uh, if we kill a barbarian with a slinger, we... Um... Who have we met? Nan Madal. So we got another envoy. Let's have a little look. So uh, plus two culture in the capital. That's nice as well. So all these things will help us... Uh, discover things quicker the eureka for the wheel okay up here we got some oranges as well there we go that's what we wanted and there we go right our warriors looking a bit disheveled let's send you over here i don't know if there's any harm to send people to stand in a drought or not what do we get from our little village Enacting new policies in our government can be of great benefit. Our people await your decree. Thanks At very his much. best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, 
he is the worst. Well, there you go. So we've got a policy. We've got chiefdom, so we can put in a chief. I guess dealing with barbarians feels like the uh, the appropriate approach. And then plus one faith. So we want to get to uh, to having a having a, uh, a a religion. I think, although the religious stuff is so dull. I think we want to get to having a religion so let's uh, let's do that because a lot of our stuff is geared towards religion there we go um okay and we boosted the eureka towards the wheel and i think that was something that our one of our envoys wanted possibly or our city states um all right all right google chill um right where were we they join our civilization so who joined what do we get did we just get a population? Is that what happened? What are we working as? As a as a team here. We're working on one farm. We're working on our um on our copper mine over here as well that needs mining and we need a builder. Okay. We're two turns away from this. I guess it makes sense for us to be looking at buying a builder. Um So our our recommended one is is craftsmanship. Although foreign trade would be quite nice as well i guess we are going to go craftsmanship though let's do that improve free tiles so we've got the eureka for this one and it's a good idea to to sort of go for the ones where you've already got the eureka to give you a chance to get the other eurekas let's uh let's send you over here um let's send you this way over the river and i think once you go over the river you finish your your movement i think that's the case this looks pretty good up here, doesn't it? I think with chocolate and stone and more cotton. But loads of cotton. Um, maybe over here doesn't seem like a bad shout. So I think we're three turns away. We need to get another settler out fairly soon. Um, so up here we should now have two envoys. If we get a third, we get more culture from our, um, our amphitheaters, which we don't have at the moment. Okay, and the tech got boosted for the wheel. Okay. I think that's everything for now. We'll try and head down here, but I think they had spearmen down here, which wasn't wasn't particularly nice to look at. Okay, what have we got this way? I never know the best approach with um with scouts is to to loop round. Okay, the drought was finished, which is nice. We need a builder to repair this. This is gonna be done in one turn, so I think we should buy a builder we can't too expensive god damn it should have held on and waited for another builder okay. when you find yourself in a hole quit digging when you find yourself in a hole quit digging thanks mr bean what if it's the only way out of the hole mind you um okay what have we got going on animal husbandry we could do that and get some sheep resource it'd be nice to find some horses in the long run um is there anything down here we've got the I mean we've got the wheel so maybe getting the wheel would be wise astrology would give us the uh, the holy site might be a good idea to go for that as quickly as possible maybe plantation would give us um now I think we're gonna go let's go for the one we've got the you know, let's go for the holy site. What was the uh, find a natural wonder? We might find one of those while we're wandering around. So let's just get you in here and have you rest up until you're healed. Uh, one turn for the slingers and then we'll send them down there to deal with those barbarians if we can. We're looking for a natural wonder, everybody. Okay, our slingers are ready. So let's, um, let's send them down this way. And we'll wait for you to heal up. Uh, I think another... A settler would be really good, but a builder would help us get the settler, right? 13 turns versus 20 turns. This is a long time. Oh, man. I guess if we do this, eventually we'll be able to buy one of the builders. How much was a builder? 215. We're making 14 a turn. So I think that's maybe the right play. Get the settler out. But at the same time, be, uh, be looking for everything else. Okay. Oh, come on. Why is it always us? And maybe everybody else is being hit by these these uh, natural wonders. But I feel like I feel like we're being unfairly treated. Um, so we lost one population. We they damaged one tile and fertilized one tile. 
Well, that is not ideal, is it, really? Come on. How is this happening? I mean, this would go to increasing our... Do we go food to try and incre improve that? I guess so, I don't know. Okay. That sounds like a goodie hut to me. Oh, no. This is probably the one person we didn't want to see other than Genghis Khan. Okay. So this... Oh, no, this is Pedro. I thought this was the new the new guy. Sorry, you, you all look alike. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. Uh, it's an honor to meet you, um, my good friend. I don't know anything about Pedro. Um, it's, it's nice to meet you, mate. I'm sure we could probably find out about him, but I don't really know how. And I would suspect that knowing about your enemies is pretty key in all of this. Um, I'd love for you to get over here and steal this stuff. But we, I don't know if the, the AI go for it. So Pedro's from Brazil. Um, we've discovered a tribal village. And we've boosted our tech for writing. Um, we've met a new civilization. Um, and we've got our flooding. Um, as you can see down here, we're at four of 11 era school just to get out of a dark age. Um, and I don't know when the ends to the, uh, the eras are. I don't know how you, how you know that. Um, your delegation is most welcome, Pedro. How would you like one of my delegations? 25 gold. I don't really want to do it, but let's do it. I don't really know what that does. And maybe I'll just keep him happy for a bit. I don't know. Okay. I guess we want to... Let's bring you back one, because these guys are bound to be coming our way, right? You're still healing up, which I'm fine with. They stole it. The scumbags. The absolute scumbags stole it. They stole my goodie hut. Not happy, Pedro. We're going down, mate. I'm just going to fortify you both for there for now. We'll see if this slinger comes closer. As our civic knowledge grows, so do our methods of governance. Furthering this endeavor will allow us to appoint a governor to strengthen our power in our cities. Without craftsmanship, Inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Okay, thanks for that. Right. So we need to choose a civic, um, which we can go for. State workforce will give us a governor. Uh, that gives us bonuses to various things in the city, depending on the governor we choose. Um, military tradition. Don't know if that's what we want, although great general points would be nice. And foreign trade. Let's go foreign trade. Again, I'm not really sure where we're heading with all of this. Let's, um, let's get you doing this. And then I guess we'll bring you over here if we can. Nice. Oh, I should have done it the other way around. I should have got the slingers to do it. I'm a moron. Oh, God. I think we needed to... Um, to kill them to uh, with the slinger. Okay, well that's not ideal. There's a barbarian cannon just there as well. Okay, we're looking for a natural wonder still. Has anyone seen one around here? Um, so I think there's things like if you stand on a hill with a scout, you see further. I think that's the thing. What what camp do I go for first? Let's get you back and get you healed. I think that feels like the the wise option. Although we have got a promotion over here. Um, let's send you down a little bit. Okay. So if we give you a promotion, um, plus seven combat strength versus melee and ranged units... Uh, plus 10 combat strength when defending against ranged attacks. Both pretty good. But I think it makes sense since we're heading down here to deal with these barbarians. Just straightforward melee stuff is going to be fine. Okay. Going to stand on these oranges. Uh, we should be really looking out for places to uh, build cities. Um, 
Again, this up here didn't seem terrible, although maybe over here with all this, this rainforest. I don't know. Okay, you guys are fully healed, right? Oh, God. Oh, God. No, cancel. Don't you come running down here. Oh, God. Barbarian Scout. Okay, I think we leave the Barbarian Scout to his business, and I think we... Head this way to try and deal with this dude. I don't know if they're going to be able to kill him or not. Okay. Well, again, I'm not sure what the right approach is there. Okay, we seem to be at the coast. Let's keep you wandering along that bit, and then we'll maybe loop back over this way. Still no natural wonders. Oh god, crossbowmen? How is this a thing? We could get our asses kicked here. Oh no. Come on, boys. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. Creating districts in our cities can be much more powerful and lucrative than simple improvements like farms and mines. I don't okay. believe in Thank astrology. You. I'm a Sagittarius and we're skeptical. Oh dear. Right, okay, what the hell are we going to do? So I think we want you to kill that and then you to maybe go that way. I don't know if this is going to work. But we get a boost if you kill this, this dude, right? And then hopefully you can run this way. There's bloody loads of them. Where are they all coming from? Barbarian campments, obviously. Um, right, okay. We can build a buy a builder. I've missed the opportunity to do that for a little while, right? Or is it 2.15? 2.15, we're almost there. Okay. We need new research. Um, irrigation gives us a plantation. And that would mean we can mine these. That doesn't sound like a horrendous option. Ancient walls doesn't sound like a bad idea considering we're being... Uh, bothered by barbarians. Um, bronze working kill free barbarians. We've done that. Um, I think we go um, irrigation and we'll try and do the wheel one while we're at it. Okay, what's going on? Getting archery would be pretty good as well, actually. Um, to deal with these dudes, because this crossbow is really going to hurt. I'm pretty sure of that. Okay, what are you doing? Let's cross the river and see how far this goes. I get the feeling there'll be uh, uh, barbarians coming from there. They've cleared out the barbarian camp up here, which is good. Uh, I'm not sure where we think a, a good place to settle is, in all honesty. You've used all your moves, you've used all your moves. Come on. Ow! Ow! Come on! Okay, what are we thinking? We could uh, we could promote. We could attack you. Major victory. Doesn't feel like a bad shout. And we'll get you dropping back into here to, well, I guess, to promote. Uh, plus 5 range strength versus land units. Plus 10 combat strength when occupying either improvement as, uh, that provides defense strength or a district. Let's go with a volley for now since we've gonna, we're going to have to attack things. Uh, and I guess we we see where this dude goes, right? And we come over here and we buy builder. Okay. You had your go? No. Okay, it doesn't look like we're going much further that way. Delegation from England? I'll oh, watch out for those. Right, can we get here and build a, a farm? I guess we want to be heading this way, right? See what we see over here. 
world buff. We haven't even got close to doing any of that stuff. Um, I'm sure we should be doing other stuff here, but at the moment we seem to be letting ourselves down a little bit, taking a very long time to build anything. This is going to help with that. Maybe we should have built a mine and a farm. It's unfortunate that the two improvements that we, or two out of the three improvements we did do, got damaged by uh, by natural disasters. Not ideal. I think we fortify over here and we fortify here for now. We'll just let these rest up and see if these guys attack us. I'd rather they attacked us over the river than anything else. I think there's a, there's a negative for attacking over the river, maybe. Well, let's, let's heal up again, maybe. I'm not sure. Um... Definitely want to build that. Maybe we'll get you to fall back slightly. Again, I'm not sure what the uh, the right approach is here. We'll bring you down this way. And have you heal until you're or rest until you're healed. Uh, and you, you've not moved yet. That's uh. Need to move here, I guess. Still looking for that natural wonder. About four turns for our settler. Let's just uh, let's just keep going. What do? What else do we get you to work on? I wonder. Do we get you to repair the farm? That seems like a wise idea. And then the mine here, right? Let's head that way still. Probably should be scouting out this way, considering this is where barbarians are coming from, but maybe this is the coast. Not sure where we go from here, um, or if we do at all. Just stay where we are. Okay. There's old Pedro Scout. Oi, get out of my land. Lives by exchanging. Okay, so we can change our policies. We could put in production towards um, naval units, or we could put in extra gold from trade units, uh, from tra uh, traders, but we don't have any of those at the moment. Let's, um, let's attack these dudes. A good start. I guess we'll move you this way. To choose a civic, what are we going for? Um, state workforce, early empire, six population for that. I guess getting a governor might not be the worst shout. Uh, we could get a trade route up and running. Uh, you guys building a mine, I feel like that's probably a, a reasonable shout. Should we go this way or this way? I don't know if it really matters. There's got to be a natural wonder around here somewhere, right? There has to be one. Oh, come on. I didn't protect my builder. I'm so naive. Oh, man. Can we capture him back? That's the first thing. You come this way. And you... Hit this dude in the face. I want you back, builder. I want you back. No getting away from me. Oh god, he's on a damn hill. Now you're in trouble. Okay, we've got a settler. I feel like we need someone to help us with this settler's guidance somewhere. Maybe down here is not a bad shout for the for the uh, for being on the coast. 
be nice to have a coastal city. Um, over here, it feels a little close to ours, but might not be a bad shout. So I was thinking up here was a reasonable location for a city. They don't believe so. They think this is a stupid idea. That's what I like about this game. I never know. What I do like about it is you can hover over it and it tells you uh, tells you what's good and what's bad. Um, over here, I think, is where exactly where we're going to begin. I think we'll just send you down here um, and link you up with our... Oops. Link you up with our, our dude over here. Um, so, we could build a holy site, which will give us a culture bomb, from what I understand. Um... And I think by a culture bomb that means we uh, we expand the land and we we steal some of the, the population around it. I think or the, the land around it. We could go with a trader. We could go with another settler. Stonehenge doesn't feel very likely. A uh, monument to give us extra culture per turn. Another slinger because we're getting our asses kicked by uh, barbarians. Another scout might not be a bad shout. Another settler. We'll just go straight on with it. I think. Let's just go here and see what we see. This does look like the end of the, the landline, so fair enough. New continent discovered, that's nice. Right. Don't you dare steal my builder. Okay. Thousands have lived without love. Not one without water. Okay, right. First things first, let's get our builder back. Thank you. Next up, let's... Uh, Let's fire these dudes. Oh, no. Okay, right. We'll take a wide berth around those. Um, let's just get back down here. What are we thinking? I think husband... Husband? Husband animalry? That's not right. Animal husbandry might not be a bad shout. Um, just because we've got the sheep now. We're thinking about a city over here somewhere. We've just got some cows. I think we go with animal husbandry for now. Um, okay. okay. These dudes are running away again. So you want that over here, right? I don't know how I feel about this, but let's do it. We've got sugar, we've got some rice. Um, what are you thinking? Four turns? It's going to take us four turns to get over here, so fair enough. Um, I'd really like another builder, especially when we build this city. But f I, think we're, I think we're fine. Um, that scout is chasing our, our scout from the looks of things. Holy moly. Okay, so you're going that way. Send you over here. I send you here. Can I found the city? I can. May I make a Super. Suggestion? So, I certainly can. Oh, you're not going to tell me what that suggestion is. I've got to read it. I certainly see expand our civilization with larger empires. Important to keep an eye on the loyalty. Yeah, okay. So our depending people on... have chosen to create a city along the low coast. Within the sound of the ocean's waves. But this is lowland and will flood if the sea level rises. Okay, I think we're okay for a little bit, love. Okay, what have we got going on? So I think we want to continue bringing you down this way. And I guess we... We need more warriors, really, and, and people to deal with barbarians. I think we're going to be able to deal with them with just what we've got. Um, what are we thinking? A granary to get some food up might not be a bad shout. They're so slow to build builders and stuff early on. Uh, a trader, they want. I guess a builder. Straight into a builder might not be the worst shout, considering. I feel like I'm just spending 90% of my time chasing after barbarians. Oh no. Look out, Scout! Holy crap. Our oh, Scout is doing a grand job. Right, run away. 
fact, I guess it makes sense for us to get you to run all the way back here, right? For now, and then we'll head this way. Um, a major victory, but I'm a little bit worried what happens when we get down there. So I think I'm going to rest until healed over here. You're going to go tell your barbarian friends where I am. I, I'm pretty sure of that. And you're heading over there. Okay. Oh, my lord. I am fond of pigs. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. Good old Winston Churchill. What, what is he on about? Right, okay. Let's get you rested. There's a barbarian in our territory. I don't know if they do anything, uh, scouts. I don't think they can take, take uh, prisoners and stuff. I think they just... They then head back to their to their group to tell people that we're around. There's another barbarian camp over here. I'm reluctant to go down here, but I'd really like to clean this one out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Archery would be huge, right? Because then we can upgrade to uh, an archer, which will turn the tide of this battle. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, I think you, you rest quicker if you're in your own lands. I think that's a thing, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, okay. Our scout is heading back. So we've boosted horseback riding. We've got some uh, some sheep in the mix. Hopefully that's going to help how quickly we can build everything. What are we what are we actually working on? I guess we could think about. looking at this so we're working this tile this tile and this tile slow on the growth but i think the quicker we can do this the, the quicker for everything else feel like we need another builder to work these tiles and come down here and and help this uh this this group we can choose a pantheon now this is where i start to get a little bit lost um, but also i think it's a good opportunity for us to put a break in the episode uh, i don't know whether to record the next episode or get some feedback hopefully from you guys as to your thoughts and how well or badly it's going and then we can pick up the next episode once this episode's been out for a couple of days and see what the uh, the view is um i hope you're enjoying this again i apologize i'm sure i've made lots of mistakes already i'm kind of learn what i what i tend to find with this game is i kind of just like doing my own thing i think i prefer it if i was on a map with no other civilizations and just be able to just like kind of grow slowly deal with barbarians that's about it um but um yeah, whether we record episode two and and then uh, put that out sort of fairly quickly after this one, or whether we we uh, we put a pause in here and have your thoughts as to to what you think we should be doing, where I've gone wrong, where I've gone right. I'm sure, there'll be uh, there'll be lopsided those comments. But um, thank you so much. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe button if you are enjoying this. Let me know um, if there's any certain games you want to see. Let me know uh, if you want to support the channel. There is a Patreon link down in description. Uh, and it'd be great if you could head over to Twitch and follow us at Scott Dog Gaming on Twitch because I do try and live stream uh, when I can. So thank you so much. I'll see you all again soon. Thank you.